19. I moved out here when I was 19 too. Yeah. How old are you now? 25. Shit. Yeah. Y'all are old. Is it kind of like my, like it, I, I think back on it and it really blows my mind. When I moved out here, I was a nanny making $400 a week. And then- the, Who lets you babysit their kids? I'm, I was a nanny, <laughs> before I moved out here, I was a nanny to three different families. I was nannying for like 12 kids. kids at the time. Were they all kids. ending up on milk after you- No, I'm milk. actually- <laughs> <laughs> I'm offended. No, I'm no. Out I'm of all really, the things people uh, thought- Yes, about, I'm a- That I'm, is I'm what a, you're offended I'm, by? She's offended because she's actually a great I'm mom. I'm a great mom. She's a great mom. I'm her, a great dog mom too. Her dog, Carl. I oh, my dog. I was just joking. You know, I, I cook didn't my dog any. food fresh like oh every God. fucking Same. couple weeks. I don't. My girlfriend does. But I feed it to him. No, but I moved out here as a nanny. I was making four hundred dollars a week, and then the next year after that, I was remember I was in like staying on my friend's couch, not my friends. I was staying on my friend's boss's like spare room, and I had like two hundred some bucks in my account, and I was like, I have to pay for my car payment, and this is all I fucking have. And I look back on that, I'm like, what the f like? I never in a million years imagined making more than like a hundred thousand dollars in a year. Hey, that's cool. Ever. That's cool. You have a bit of a story. Why don't you tell that more often? Like you have a, I was Where sleeping I on a couch with 200 bucks in my pocket story. That's a great and story. People love that story. Yeah. No, like so for real. And now you're a multi, multi-millionaire. Well then like, I mean, we can get into it. And in three, I don't want to ever sound like I'm bragging, but I mean, like I said, going from that and then in three weeks making $3 million on OnlyFans, like makes absolutely no fucking sense in my mind. That's a lot no of sense. Money. That is a lot. I mean, to That's literally be making $400 a week to then be making having no job and then you're like what the fuck so would you take a second right now to say something motivational to the listeners who may have a dream I, I mean what can I really say I well you did honest, it I, I don't know I sell my tits on OnlyFans so. <laughs> the self awareness is superb it's super I commend you well I do feel like I have a little bit of a cheat code to life why I mean like obviously my looks benefit me a lot <laughs> and She's very honest. No, I, I, yeah. I, I don't know. I think you're very funny I'm in the vlogs. Truly, I think I have the weirdest luck in the whole world because I met David at this random fucking show. We ended up being friends. I ended up hanging out with him in LA. And looking back on it, I had no, I, I had no. When he was vlogging, I didn't even know what vlogs really were. Like I didn't, I was, I didn't really watch much YouTube like growing up. So I was like, had no fucking idea until these things started blowing up. And I was like, oh my god, I, I get it now. And then it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so I'm like, holy fuck, like. Now looking back on it, I had no idea what's fucking going on until I'm looking back on it like, holy shit, like this is, I just got lucky. I truly just was like friends with the right person at the right time. All right, kids. So go out there and, make, and get lucky. And make friends. <laughs> I mean, I will say, I'm the first one to say it. I didn't like somebody like you, you really worked for your platform. You took the time to make videos, whatever. I didn't have, I didn't really plan on being on the internet or doing internet things until I just started getting followers for being, being friends with somebody. I never had an, I never had an intention to be on the internet. I just started getting followers from David's following. And then I was like, okay, fuck, well, I should make money off of this. I'm going to start a YouTube channel. Do you express your gratitude to David? Yeah, I think I should buy him a car. No, but seriously, I do. I literally like joking. Like I say thank you every day, but I'm joking. I joke with him a lot. And I'm like, okay, so like what, like what do I buy you now? Are you excited that he's vlogging again? Mm-hmm. I don't know how much I'm going to be around just because I'm like doing my own thing. Yeah.